Good morning and welcome to our kitchen. I'm Gordy Galusha. And I'm Nancy Ostrash. Today we're going to be making you some recipes that you can serve at your holiday brunch. Um, Nancy's going to be making a baked gruyere and sausage omelet and I'm going to be making uh, bacon cheddar pinwheels and tomato cup uh, bacon tomato cups and you can serve these with your meal. Nancy's going to start with her omelet. Okay just a couple of things that I'll start out with because my onions have to cook a little while. In a fry pan I put one to two tablespoons of olive oil and I'm going to saute one small chopped onion. You want to cook uh, the onion for about three minutes or so till it becomes translucent. Now this is not an, an omelet where you put your uh, egg mixture in a pan and cook it up and flip, flip it over. This is going to be an onion bake, but they call it a, an omelet. So I'm going to cook these onions, saute them for a little while, and while when I, these get cooked the way I want them, I'm going to add a half a pound of turkey Italian sausage, sweet sausage. And you would take them, if you can get bulk, that's fine. Uh, I just find uh, in the stores that I shop in that they're usually already cased as sausages. So what you need to do is take the casings off, which isn't hard. So when this, the onions are cooked up the way I want them, I'm going to add this half a pound of turkey sausage and brown that up. But right now we'll go to Gordy and she will start her bacon uh, tomato, cups. tomato cups. Okay, first of all you start off with um, a package uh, carton of uh, buttermilk biscuits. These happen to be very small so I took the whole biscuit and I just spread it apart like this and this is what they look like. They look like little little cups and I'll show you how I do these. I just take a biscuit and I flatten it out a little bit and then I try to get it to fit into my pan here which doesn't fit sometimes. You have to flatten it out a little bit and stick it in the pan just like this. So they look like little cups. And this is what they look like when you get all your dough in your little mini muffin tins. Okay, next I have a one small onion chopped and one t small tomato chopped and a half onion chopped. It's going in here. Okay, I have a half a cup of Swiss cheese, a teaspoon of basil, and I'm going to put in a half a cup of um, mayonnaise. I also have a half a cup of bacon bits. You can cup, you can cook bacon and chop it up if you want, but the bacon bits I find are just as just as good. Okay, and then you mix this all together. My son-in-law loves these. I always make sure he has some at Christmas time or picnics that we have because he just loves these. The recipe was given to me by a good friend of my daughter's. And she makes them all the time. And this is what the mixture looks like before you put them in the cups. Okay, now it's time you can fill the cups now. Uh, I guess I need a smaller spoon. Take a spoonful and just put them in here, just like this. These are very, very easy to make. The only time consuming there is in it is um, 
trying to get the biscuits into the muffin tins. But once you've got the, the dough in the muffin tins, then you'll think you've really conquered the world here. Just takes a little patience, I'm sure. It does. After you get them filled, you put them in um, 450 oven for 8 to 10 minutes or until the crust starts to get golden brown. This is what they look like when they're done. I'm going to put them in a 450 oven for 8 to 10 minutes and back to Nancy. Okay, my sausage and onions are still browning up some. And right now I am breaking 8 eggs in a bowl. 8 eggs? 8 eggs, yeah. This is going to serve 4 to six servings or people, and I'm uh, going to use an, an eight by eight um, baking dish. You can, um, could you uh, bake it in a fry pan like this if it's or a bigger one? Oh, uh, if uh, it could go in the oven. Yeah. If you're not concerned about using lower cholesterol type foods, you could use a, um, a pork sausage, but I'm using the turkey sausage. And if you were concerned about cholesterol with the eggs, you could use an egg substitute. Have you ever used the egg substitute before, Nancy? A couple of recipes I have. Yeah. It's just as good. You can't tell the difference. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to whip these up. to the eggs a third of a cup of whole milk. It said I'm using fat free half and half. Third of a cup. salt and pepper to taste. The next thing to add is one cup of shredded Gruyere cheese. 
Now, I don't usually use Gruyere cheese, so I found out how expensive it can be. Like $16 a pound. That's pretty expensive for a piece of cheese, isn't it? <laughs> Cheekers. <Yeah>. Holy moly. <laughs> um, so I, well, I'm going to try it anyways, but if you um, don't want to spend that much, I would think uh, a cheddar would uh, be okay to use in the recipe. Much cheaper. I can't believe that. There goes your cup of Gruyere cheese. And last, you can um, put in a chopped small red pepper. Now, I've been using this canned roasted red pepper in some of the recipes, and I was bound and determined I was going to use it up. So this is what I'm using. And I'm trying to drain it as best I can. So I I'm going to add a quarter of a cup or so of the red, roasted red peppers. And then um, a quarter of a cup of flat leaf chopped parsley, which I, I usually don't buy the chopped, the real parsley. I use the, the dried. And uh, so that would, you'd use half of what uh, you'd use for fresh parsley. Now I'm going to add the sausage and onion mixture. a little grease in the bottom so I'm not I want to drain that off or leave it in the pan. Mix it all up. And I'm going to pour it into my baking dish, which I have spray. You can either lightly um, butter it or I'm use, I use the spray vegetable oil. I think that's pretty easy to put together for Looks like it is. It smells good. So this How many did you say you would serve? Four to six. Oh, that's good. So this will go in a 425 oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Now, send it back to Gordy. Okay, I'm going to be making um, some be uh, bacon cheddar pinwheels. And I have a um, package of crescent rolls. I couldn't find the crescent sheet or the roll sheet any place, so I decided, well, I'll try this. Nancy did this last week with, I think, rolls, didn't you, or crescent rolls? That I had to put together. Scrunch together. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to scrunch them together. Cover up the perforated holes. Okay, on this I'm going to spread a little ranch dressing. Like so, here, just like this. <clears throat> I'm going to spread a little nice, finely cheddar cheese. I'm 
going to put on some uh, just a few bacon bits. some green onion about three green onion that you can chop up okay and one end of, the, of your roll you take your end of your roll here and roll it up just like you would a jelly roll just like this if you're lucky it'll stay together okay, and this is what it looks like when you get it through holes are starting to come you take a serrated knife and you cut each of your um, cut your roll into pinwheels so they look just like this. what your pinwheels look like. Whoop. Come apart. It's best if you take a serrated knife to cut these. Sometimes they fall apart, but put them back together and nobody knows the difference. <laughs> they really come up with a lot of recipes for the crescent rolls. Haven't they? Oh, I love them. <laughs> They're great for parties and you know, dinners, just as the rolls. Oh, I love, I serve these rolls a lot. My family loves them. You know, other times I have taken hot dogs mm -hmm. and put them in um, the crescent rolls. Those are kids. Those are kids big like, kids, too. Yeah. Big kids like those, too. Because <laughs> I'm a big kid. I love them. Mm. Okay, this is what they look like. And you, and you put them in a 350 oven for seven to, what I say, 12 to 17 minutes. Well, I think we're going to have to take a break because we've got to finish up. Uh, so we'll be back in a few minutes. We're back at our table today now. And uh, this morning we made um, recipes for a uh, holiday brunch, if you'd like to serve them then. Uh, this is um, a bacon cheddar pinwheel, and this is made out of um, crescent rolls with um, green onion and cheese and tomatoes and bacon bits. And you roll them up, and then you cut them off, and then bake them. And this one is a tomato cup. And this is made out of buttermilk biscuits that you um, take apart and you put into little tiny uh, muffin pans. And there's um, um, tomato, tomato in there and onion and Swiss cheese and bacon bits. And you put them inside your um, um, little cups after you put them in your muffin tins. And they make a very, for a very good um, brunch dessert uh, menu. I made a baked gruyere and sausage, well it's called an omelet, but it's like a crustless quiche because you bake it in the oven. And I uh, cooked up some tur turkey sweet Italian sausage with onion, and then that mixture was put into uh, eight eggs and some gruyere cheese. Um, salt and pepper to taste and uh, baked for 20-25 uh, minutes and I neglected to say that 
Also on top of the uh, egg mixture, you would sprinkle more Gruyere cheese before you put it in the oven. And this is what it looks like uh, when it's all baked. Now, uh, we didn't, we're not making up this punch, but I have a pretty nice recipe for a festive fruit punch that I'll read off to you. Uh, it would be like three cups of, now this would be for lower sugar um, punch and diet uh, soda you can use. But you take three cups of light cranberry juice, one cup of orange juice, and you could also get the lower sugar orange juice now, one quarter cup of lemon juice, one third cup of Splenda, and you mix that all together. Just before serving, you would add one 32-ounce bottle of diet ginger ale, and then you could garnish with um, some orange slices uh, or pieces for garnish, and some lime or orange sherbet balls, which would be optional. And uh, that would be a good punch to have with your um, brunch in, um, for the holidays. So if you'd like any of these recipes, you can send a stamped self-addressed envelope to Dalton Community Television, 151 Park Avenue, Dalton, Massachusetts, 01226. Thank you for joining us for our uh, holiday uh, meals, and we'll be back again soon.